Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning about slope and rate of change. Let's go ahead and start with rate of change. Rate of change is basically the relationship between the x and the y values of coordinates given for a line. Here we have a table that consists of four coordinates. In order to find the rate of change, we need to know that the rate of change is going to be change of y over change of x. We can find the rate of change by simply subtracting the y value of one of the coordinates from the y value of, the, of another coordinate. Let's go ahead and take the first two coordinates. So we have negative 3, 6 and 2, 3. If we do 6 minus 3 and negative 3 minus 2, we will find the rate of change. But remember, the reason why we're not going to do 3 minus 6 and 2 minus 3 is because we're looking for the change from negative 3, 6 to 2, 3 because negative 3, 6 was the first point given and then 2, 3 was the second point given. So we're going to do 6 minus 3 over negative 3 minus 2 and we get 3 over negative 5 and this is the rate of change. But remember, in order to make sure, we have to use all. Of, we have to do the all of the coordinates. So first, we did negative three six and two three. Now let's do two three and seven zero. So once again, we're going to do three minus zero and two minus seven, and we get three over negative five. So so far, we're good. Now let's go ahead and do seven zero and twelve negative three. So we have 0 minus 3, but remember, since we're subtracting a negative, it's always a good idea to put this in parentheses. So we could also write this, so that we don't confuse ourselves, as 0 minus negative 3 over 7 minus 12. Negative and negative become positive and becomes 3 over 7 minus 12, which is negative 5. So the rate of change for these following coordinates is 3 over negative 5 or negative 3 fifths. So now let's go ahead and do slope. For slope we know that we have four kinds of slopes and basically four kinds of lines that determine the slope. Let's go ahead and make those lines over here. So this is a positive slope because the line is rising. So positive slope and it rises. This is a negative slope because it's falling. It falls. This is a zero slope. And it does not rise or fall because it's just horizontal. That means there is no really slope. And this is no slope because this is basically like a straight down cliff there is no rise or run rise over run and remember is the slope so these are the four different kinds of slopes so it could be either positive negative zero or no slope now let's go ahead and look at the formula for slope so slope is always known as the variable m remember that so the formula for slope is m equals or slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That means with the coordinates given, you're going to take one of the coordinates and make it your x1 and y1, and the other coordinate will be your x2, y2, and then you're going to subtract to find the slope. Let's go ahead and do an example. So let's take any two coordinates. So let's say we have negative 3, 6, and 2, 4. It does not matter which one is y1 and x1 and which one's y2 and x2 because it at the end you're going to get the same answer. So let's say I make this my x1 and this is my y1, this is my x2 and this is my y2. Now let's go ahead and substitute into the formula to find the slope. So we have m equals y2 which is 4 minus y1 which is 6 over x2 which is 2 minus x1 which is negative 3. So we have m equals 4 minus 6 which is negative 2 over and 2 minus negative 3 if these become positive because negative times negative is positive 2 
plus 3 equals 5. Therefore, the slope of these coordinates is negative 2 fifths or negative 2 over 5. This is it for slope and rate of change. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you guys next time. Bye!